welcome back to my channel, Apples and Tiaras. So today I am doing a updated what is in my teacher bag video. I'm gonna go into detail about everything that I keep in this bag and hopefully it will help you guys pack your teacher bags or give you some more ideas on what to keep with you all the time. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So this is the bag that I carry to and from work in addition to my purse, which is a whole nother video, but I wanted to share with you what was inside of this bag. So, this is a backpack from the Kate Spade outlet. I did not pay full price for this, that's insane, but I did find it on a really good discount, and I love that it's black, and it's waterproof, and it's got pockets, and it's meant for like carrying a laptop, so I know that it's durable. The straps are actually really thin, which I don't like. It's not very supportive on my back, but I really don't carry this on my back that often, um, but the fact that it's a backpack does help when I'm walking from my car to work because I usually have a lunchbox, my purse, anything I've graded, so it does keep one less thing on my arms and is just straight on my back, so it's easy to carry. So I'm just gonna go through the pockets of this bag and show you everything that's in it. In the front pouch, I just have a little hand sanitizer here that I got from Bath and Body Works. It's this little apple and I just keep that there as a charm and as well as something to hand sanitize my hands with. So in here, I just have a couple of things. Um, I have some pencils which I use to uh, put in my planner or just write things down just randomly um, so that it's not a final plan. And then I have some paper clips in here which help me to organize great either once I get home or if I need to organize it after I get home um, I just have them in here for quick uh, grab so that's all that's in the front pouch then in the second front pouch I have a little hairbrush and it's just one of these little tangle tamers um, and it's obviously brush my hair then I have my Statler pens or Stadler I don't even know how you pronounce it but I got these at Target and it's just the 20 piece set and then I do have this cute little pack of planner stickers that I got from Michaels I don't use a whole lot of stickers in my planner but when I do I use these and they come with some cute little stickers like conferences staff development day field trip and all kinds of cute little motivational stickers so I just have those in here just in case I get a wild hair and want to color up my planner and that's all that's in the front pouch now we're gonna get into the big one <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna pull out is in the laptop slot of this bag and this is actually old stickers from my Erin Condren planner that I kept in here just in case I wanted them and I'm also going to use this to just bring things from to and from work that I need like I don't know if it's a document or something that I need I'll just put it in here then I've got my lesson planner. This is from Genuine Teachings store on TPT and I don't have the entire planner in here because I like to plan actual lessons on lessonplan.com but I do have my year-long plans in here. This is actually a draft. Um, I have printed a new one and I'm filling it in in pencil just because I want to make sure that nothing is set in stone. If I need to move something I can but I love this planner because it has um, year-long planning by months, it has year-long planning by quarter, it has year-long planning, uh, basic, like, big pages for your quarter planning. And that's all that I've printed in here as far as the planner goes. And then I also have a grading rubric. I've got our school um, calendar. And then I do have my standards in here. So they're just organized by subjects. So math, reading, language arts, um, social studies, and science. That way I can have all the things I need to plan with in just one spot and this is just a really skinny little notebook next I have my hard drive which I keep in this little um, Apple pouch it's nothing exciting it's just a hard drive I found on Amazon but I keep it in here so that it won't get damaged because this is really like hard then I've got my Erin Condren life planner in here as I said I don't use a planner for planning lessons but I do have this for keeping me organized on a day-to-day -day basis I have my class iPad in here because I needed to remember to take it to school with me. 
And then the last thing in this bag, which is my favorite part, is my little makeup case. And I like to wear makeup to work most of the time, if I remember to do it, because I like looking nice and professional, and if not wearing makeup to work, what is the point? So I'm just gonna show you guys what's in this little bag and give you a couple of tips on things that I like to keep in here because they work really well for teaching. So, first thing I'm pulling out are my Lip Sense lip colors, and I do not distribute these. I'm not a seller of them, but I do love them very much. I just have two colors in here. I have Praline Rose and First Love, and then I have my gloss and my remover in here. Now, I only keep these in my teacher bag, during the school year because I put them on once I get to work after I've eaten breakfast and, you know, done the whole thing. So that's why they're in my teacher bag and not in my purse. If I need them, I obviously have my bag at home so I can just grab them when I need them. But they're amazing. They last all day and through the teaching day when you're talking the whole time. Next, I have this Bare Minerals bronzer. The reason I keep this in here is because of the mirror. Um, I also use the bronzer, obviously, to bronze my face, but I also use it as an eyeshadow if I didn't put any on. So I just use it to kind of contour my crease. Then I've got a little travel size Batiste dry shampoo just in case my hair starts to get greasy and yuck and I want to freshen it up. I also keep a little Bare Minimals Bare Minerals prime, Primer in here. I actually got a little travel pack, which was perfect for my teacher bag because I want everything to be small. So I have the little primer in here. Then I've got the Bare Minerals Foundation and I use the color Light and it's W15. Um, and the little brush that comes with it, like I said, this all came from a travel um, kit, but this is the exact same color that I use in my actual makeup kit. So if I need to touch up or if I just forget to put it on, I have it at work. Then I've got this little brush, which I use to bronze my face with. And then this little brush, if I need to put it on as eyeshadow and contour my eyes. I've also got a little mini Bare Minerals, or not Bare Minerals, um, Roller Lash by Benefit Mascara. This is my favorite mascara, and I just got it in a travel size so that I could keep it in my bag. And most of the reason that I have this makeup kit is not only for touching up, but if I'm rushing out the door and don't have time to put makeup on, I can at least put something on and make myself look presentable. Then I've got this little mineral veil in here. I don't use this a lot, but if I'm feeling, you know, like I've got enough time, I'll put a little bit of this on top of my foundation. And then the last couple things I have in here, <laughs> um, there's a NARS lipstick, there's a Stila lip gloss, and there's a poopery, just in case you need to go at work and you don't want anybody to know that you were in there. All right guys, so that is everything that I keep in my teacher bag. Of course, I also have my keys in there, but they're not in there at the moment, they're in my purse. But I hope this was a helpful video. I hope those makeup tips were helpful. Definitely try those products out. They're amazing and they last really well. And that foundation covers up everything. I'm talking everything. So get your hands on that. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and have a magical day. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video and for being here to support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the little bell next to the subscribe button. It will alert you when I post a new video and will help my channel grow. Thank you so, so much for watching and have a magical day.